Oh, the gift that keeps giving. Come and watch one among so many trading videos about uh, P. Diddy. Make it make sense. Now, it's starting to look like the feds are not going to wait to beat Diddy up in court alone. Now, they've resorted to leaking audio and video to destroy public perception of the man. Now, I bet there's way more where that come from, too. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friend. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. This is a special birthday for both of us. Yeah. In a straight eyebrow raising interview promoting her movie, Cassie stunned everybody by brushing off questions about Diddy allowing her to have, you know, sex scenes. It was a little bit on the wild side. Now, little do we know she was suffering abuse behind the scenes already. Feds released the video because they can't arrest Diddy over the video footage because it happened way too long ago. But the revelations just keep on coming like the good book. But you being around Diddy, you knowing him, you think he's capable of raping a female, man? Bruh, Yo, uh, he's capable of doing what Cassie said he did. Cassie said she, he raped her. You understand? Against her will. She won a lawsuit that he raped her against her will. Now, Cassie's lawsuit details even more horrific abuse. Now, did he allegedly beat her so badly, he would lock her into a hotel room for weeks until her face healed up. And trust me, there's plenty more violence out there. Now, what's even crazier, Diddy's abusive behavior is an open secret. Everybody around him, including his kids, knows about it, but still chooses to protect his image over all the victims. Just with this Cassidy thing, Cassie thing, um, I didn't know her, but I knew somebody liked her, and that was Kim Porter. I didn't know Cassie. But I knew somebody who was going through the same thing she was going through, and that was Kim Porter. So people ask me, yo, and they send me clips of Cassie, I guess it's an affidavit to the courts, you know, of what she experienced. And it's like, it was the same thing Kim was going through. The same thing, bro. Kim was going through the same thing. The beatings, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, and now I could say one time when I know Kim had defended herself and I told people this, and now everybody, after Cassie report comes out, everybody want to show the picture now. You see a picture on the internet going with Puff, right hand, is in a bandage. That's the night I was called by Paul to meet him over at St. Luke's Hospital. He had a white T-shirt wrapped around his wrist because Kim had took the cork, the, uh, you know, when you open up wine, the corkscrew. She took the corkscrew and caught him on his wrist defending himself. And he almost, I think he had, I know he told some ligaments, but he almost hit an artery or came close to the artery or either scratched it or cut it a little bit because he just kept bleeding, kept bleeding. And from that, that point on, he was hooked. That's when I knew, like, I knew when they was talking about people getting addicted and hooked on pain medicines, that's what happened to him. And it was from his right wrist that uh, he's reminded by Kim all the time now. And looking at this lawsuit, right, and like you said, she did accuse him of abuse in this lawsuit, but she also accused him of sex trafficking in this lawsuit. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, he get the sex trafficking because he took her to different states and had her perform sex acts with different, you know, male prostitutes and different people somewhat sometimes against her will. You know, we look at this and uh, we say, well, that was his girl and she she, she did it on her own. She, you know, she didn't have to. Man, you can't say that. That was a 19-year-old girl that what they call now groomed by an older man. And yes, 
she got some of the benefits of being with a billionaire, millionaire, and everything like that. But it's just certain things that he did to groom her and put her into that position that she wanted the career. She wanted to uh, uh, do the music. She wanted to be a performer and all this stuff like that. He held all that shit over her head, bro. And now that she came out and telling everybody her story and what happened to her, you know, people are finding fault in her. People are saying that she, what, you know, she ain't right for putting a lawsuit against him, but she earned every bit of that, bro. And like I said, I didn't, I only seen bits and pieces of it, but she earned every bit of that. Yo, I heard that he beat her so bad he sent her to Hawaii <laughs> that, so she could stay away from people. That's crazy, man. But that's Kim's story. That's Kim's book. That's Kim's book. Then you hear about the fact that he he broke Kim's nose on a yacht? Wow, I didn't hear about that. He broke him. Uh, oh, let's let's say allegedly, but it was told by people in her camp that he broke Kim's nose on a yacht. So Cassie's story is Cassie's story is Kim's story. Cassie book is Kim's book, bro. When y'all look at this thing and saying force, y'all think this sh that he he. Now, what's crazy about the Diddy and Cassie situation is that his abusive behavior is normalized for everybody around him, including his kids. Now, everybody around the guy knows how abusive it is, yet they still just choose to protect him in his image instead of the actual victims. Now, Diddy's former bodyguard, Roger Bonds, dropped a bombshell, revealing how he witnessed Diddy's violent outbursts towards Cassie and Kim Porter multiple times, including a disturbing incident at the Beverly Hills Hotel. And this was back in 2012. So that's why I was so adamant on what I said yesterday after he posted that apology because it comes a time where it's like you can't just say anything you want to say and think that people are going to accept it. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think it's a God syndrome, you know, the same way that he's been in a lot of trouble before and you could pay your way out. He knew those cameras was there, you know, but of course... As we heard, he came back to the hotel and he paid to get the footage, mm. but didn't know which Cassie said inside her complaint that they gave her a copy of the footage also. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when you go through life just paying your way out, I really feel like he wasn't sorry about that. Yeah, he might be sorry now. He's sorry that he got caught. But if that was a one-time incident, then I would say accept his apology. But I think... In that apology, he said what he thought people wanted to hear. How many times did you personally witness him be violent towards women? Uh, around four or five times. And was that all with Cassie or was it Cassie and other women? Uh, I seen him with Cassie and I seen him with Kim Porter, his uh, kid's mother. Right, who's now so sadly no longer with us. But what, what did you see him do? Uh, I've, I've seen them get physical. I've seen him get really physical, grab them up. It was one time that Cassie mentioned inside her lawsuit where she said she had to go over to the London Hotel. Mm. I was the one that was checking on her every day at the London Hotel. You know what I'm saying? So I know that to be true. I've seen him get into some rustling and punching matches. And sometimes I felt like, what are you mad at? What are you upset about? Because it's it's a deeper anger when you hitting and punching a woman in that type of manner. And it's okay, it's, it's, it's understood if you have a problem with one woman and you seek things, but when you have a problem with every woman that you're dealing with, then I think that problem is inside of you. What did you see him do with Kim Porter? I seen him inside the car, grab her up. I seen him smack her, you know? And one thing about Kim is, Kim got to the point where she fought back because she realized how powerful she was. It was one incident on Sunset Boulevard 
in front of the Beverly Hills Hotel where I just seen the car rocking back and forth. You know, of course he put everybody out the car, but I seen the car shaking, so I opened the door. I said, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing? You see where we at and what are you doing? And Kim got out the car like nothing happened and she fixed her hair and she told him, she said, I wanna see you explain to the media that scratch I'm gonna put across your face if you put your hands on me again. Mm-hmm. And that, that, was, that was Kim attitude. Kim attitude was she realized that what he had to explain meant more to him than anything. And once she realized she had that power, she said, nah, not no more. Because you're gonna have to explain why you all marked up. The incident you alluded to in the lawsuit uh, was in January 2009, uh, after Diddy learned that uh, she had spoken to another music manager at a party, he became angry. It says in the car leaving the club, he beat uh, Cassie, Miss Ventura, pushing her into a corner of the vehicle and stomping on her face, and that you tried to stop the beating but were unable to de-escalate the situation. Is that an accurate assessment of what happened? I wouldn't say it was accurate because I did did stop it. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't a club. It was in front of a black tie affair, actually. Mm. And uh, they came out of the black tie affair on Sunset Boulevard. And she was talking to a manager and I was standing there. And then he just came out and went crazy. You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand why, but I knew that we was on Sunset Boulevard and I and I grabbed him and I said, yo, what are you doing? Like, what did she do? And she just ran on the side of the car and she bent down and he took off for me and he commenced to hitting her. But Bonds ain't off the hook. Now he's getting backlash for not speaking up sooner with people accusing him of being an accomplice in all this. Yo, everybody who don't understand what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, Y'all could send all the messages y'all want. Y'all could send all the threats y'all want. Y'all could call me old. Y'all could call me whatever y'all want to call me. It don't bother me. Please, please, please. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share. Thank you.